Hello class, this is the homework help for week three, Thursday. All right, so we're gonna read the problem, identify what the question is, okay? And then we're gonna circle and pick out the most important facts and figure out, are we gonna add, subtract, multiply, divide? What are we gonna do to get the answer, okay? So it says, Brenda and Jenna saved up um, $81.75 and $45.25, respectfully, okay? So that means that Brenda more than likely saved this amount, Jenna more than likely saved the second amount because Brenda's name is first and Jenna's name is second. This amount is first, this amount is second. That's what this right here means, okay? Respectively, in that order, okay? To buy a gift for Mother's Day. How much money in all have the sisters set aside? So you're going to add the amounts together. So these are decimals. So in order to add these amounts, you line up by the decimal, okay? So let's add 5 and 5, that's 10, okay? This is 7, 8, 9, 10. Carry your 1 there. This is 5, 6, 7. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The last step is to bring down the decimal. So they saved $127. Okay? Number 2. Lily Hayes ran a distance of... 3.57 miles on Saturday as a part of her morning workout. On Sunday, she ran 4.98 miles. How many miles in all did Lily run over the weekend? Saturday and Sunday is the weekend. So on Saturday, it says she ran 3.57. 57 miles. On Sunday, she ran 4.98 miles. So you're going to add those amounts together. When you add decimals, you line up by the decimal. Okay? All right, so here we go. 7 plus 8, you can use your fingers and your toes. It's going to be, we got, uh, we got 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And carry the one. Then we got 9. We got 10. 5 is 15. Oh, you got it. Then we're going to add these together. We got 4 plus 4 gives us 8. Take your time. I don't want to rush anybody. Okay. Take your time. Make sure that you line up by the decimal and add. Use your fingers and your toes. I'm modeling for you, okay? I'm modeling for you. Angie spent, I'm going to read the third one. Angie spent $131.56, okay, on groceries during the next preceding Christmas, okay? Her grocery expenses amounted to only $56.91 during the Christmas week as she was out of town. How much more money did Angie spend on groceries during the week before Christmas? This week right here. Okay, the preceding week. Um, then the following week. All right. So how much more money? So what you have to do is subtract. Okay, you have to subtract these amounts. So we line up by the decimal. Okay, this is my decimal. Nine here, one here, got six here, five here, and we're gonna subtract. So when we subtract, we got five, mm, six minus one is five. We cannot subtract. You decompose the number. This is 15. Okay. Sorry. So this is going to be 6. Oh, count. I'm supposed to be practicing counting for you. 
We got 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that's 6. Sorry about that. I'm supposed to be practicing counting with you. I apologize. All right. So now we can't not subtract. We cannot subtract 6 from 0. So this is going to give us 2 here. This is 10. So we have 10 minus 6. That gives you 4. Okay. We can't subtract 5 from the 2. So this is going to be 0. This is 12. Let's count again. We got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 7 fingers, right? Okay. Last step is to bring down the decimal. So it is um, $74.65. That's how much that's how much more was spent on groceries. Okay. All right. So what you do, read, identify what the question is, pick out the key facts. You see how I underlined them? I didn't underline this one. I kind of did. What you use. And decide if you're going to add, subtract, multiply, divide, or a combination of those. Okay? Do your best. If you have questions, please ask questions. Okay? All right. Have a good one.